Hello and welcome back. So today we've got another £200 worth of 10 P's to have a hunt through. Looking for the alphabet 10 P's. Also any territories, any oddities. Uh, we recent, I recently found my second double-headed 10 pence coin on a live stream. So we found one a few weeks ago on the uh, normal video 10 P's like this one. Um, but I found a second one on a live stream which is pretty cool because I've never found one. And I found two in what the space of a month or something crazy like that. What are we looking for though? Ideally we want some of the alphabets, so every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British minted on it. This is for the year 2018, we are only missing the letter G. We need a 2018 G and we've completed the first ever book. All this time, all these episodes, over 100 episodes, we still not completed a book. Unbelievable stuff. 2018 is a whole other story. We've only got C, E, G, H, J, L, M. O oh, keeps falling out. Stay. O, R, U and V, so plenty to still get for 2019, but 2018 we're getting very, very close to. So without further ado, let's get into these coins. So let's jump into the questions then. Uh, these are still questions from my RAF Silverproof giveaway. Um, so I've got still got a whole ton of them to get up to date with, and I've got probably two more giveaways since then that I've got questions waiting to be answered. So thank you all for your patience. Uh, first message comes from Lighty Collects, who says, Stunning coins, an amazing giveaway. Well done on 40k subs. Very well done. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you, Lighty. Um, Etienne Cutmore says, Hi, Christopher. I look forward to each week to your live streams. Uh, what do you look forward to in your week, apart from coin hunting? Um, oh, there's a lot I look forward to in my sort of week. Um, so if I'm seeing friends or seeing family, that's something I look forward to doing. Um, the hunts I really look forward to because you never know what you're going to get and you can have really really amazing uh, luck and find amazing coins uh, like we did on Friday's video holy Toledo what a video that was um, a big shout out to Grossy Coin Hunts and Katie Jones Coins who co-hosted that uh, Friday 50p video for me if you haven't seen that man oh man you're missing the hunt of a lifetime I called it because that's never going to happen again is it <laughs> um uh, when I've got a video that I know is going to do well, like Friday's video, like some videos going forwards, um, I look forward to seeing the reaction of people. Um, when I know that there is something so amazing that you're going to love, because um, I'm two, if not three weeks ahead in some of my recordings, so um, some of the coins, if I know I'm going to find something extraordinary, I've got to keep that quiet. And I think I do pretty well at doing that. Um, but yeah, then seeing the results of that is amazing. The, 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 but equally, there could be a video that I don't expect to do amazingly, that um, I think is an interesting video that I think you guys are gonna like, um, and then all of a sudden it rockets to the to, the, the, to the, the best performing video at the last 10 videos I've put out for no apparent reason. And it's those kind of things you, you can't really bottle that. It just kind of happens for some reason. Um, like the, the, my first uh, wish video, wish coin video, the second one as well did very well. Um, I thought this is kind of different. It might, it might do well. It might just flop and no one will be interested in it. But the first one did exceedingly well. The second one did very well. Um, and that sort of, it's interesting because that adds that dynamic of, oh, well, that's something I could potentially replicate and do another one and people are liking that um so yeah this the 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 weird sort of fluxes of YouTube oh we got one early on too why for yeoman water it's a 2018 not one we need but any find is a good find on these they're so scarce um, I thoroughly look forward to the live streams, um, but they do—they are going to have to change. Um, so a bit of elaboration on this, I didn't really intend to cover this in this video. I was going to talk about it more on the live stream. Um, for the newer viewers, uh, people that haven't heard me talk about things, I work Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, and I work alternate Saturdays, uh, half a day. Um, so Sundays are my only guaranteed day off. And as much as I love doing the live streams, it is amazing. That's another day of my week that I have to plan around. Um, and I feel like I need to recover my weekend a little bit. I think it's getting to a point where I am going to burn myself out. Um, 
as thrilling and as fun and as uh, amazing as uh, making the videos are, I've tried to give myself a day off a week, a, a bit more con consistently. It's been Saturdays, which is fine, um, but alternate Saturdays, I work half that day anyway. So I feel like I need to get more of a balance. And so tomorrow's live stream is going to be my last live stream for a little bit. I need a bit of a break, uh, a little bit of catch up with myself. Ooh -hoo -hoo! We got the letter T. Oh, it's the letter G we want though. I haven't seen many letter T's. We do still need it for 2019 though, so let's have a look. Oh, it's 2018. Oh. We found two 2018 T's now. Oh well. It's a beautiful, beautiful coin. And also, I need to think about what I want to do with that live stream because I love the interaction. I love chatting to you guys. It's not just the interaction that I get, it's the interaction I see amongst the people commenting. Um. It's not something a decision I'm taking lightly. Um, it's something I've put a lot of thought into the last sort of fortnight. Um, so, because it was a, a case of looking at what I do and what's gonna what what small what single change is going to be, put the biggest impact on my week, on my life, my whatever, and. Um, I could. I looked at how long it takes to produce a video. The the world coin hunts take the longest to edit. Uh, when I was first doing them, it took five hours to edit it. But now I've got it down streamlined to about two hours. Um, so I could remove that. That's the longest. That's the longest uh, amount of editing time in my block. Um, but then I need to replace that video with something because I still want to do my daily videos. That I can manage. Um, so that wasn't the goer um and then i thought what about the live streams i love doing them but it's it's three hours of my eve of, of an evening a week that i sit and do my coin hunts and chat to you guys and whatever and it's amazing fun and i love doing it but it's not just that three hours sat there it's the it's the couple of hours prior that i prepare for it that i get all my alphabet redesigns in and i've got to get my design sorted um make sure all the tech is all working which invariably it doesn't um and then subsequent to that i've got all the all those coins to rebag that doubles the amount of time it takes to to bag the coins up um I've then got to rebank those coins, which is an extra. <laughs> so basically, I work the nine to five during the week, and then on my lunch breaks, I'm whizzing around, paying coins in, taking coins out, da 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 da. And if I cut down the amount of coins that I was that I'm handling, that's an extra lunch break where I can sit and have lunch rather than run around like a headless chicken. So um, I'm trying to figure out a way to pull back my weekends so that when I'm making videos I am not half asleep I am not uh, editing at stupid o'clock in the morning to make sure a video is a vid videos get come out um, so I think that the best course of action is to take a bit of a break from doing the live streams and decide how I want to do them going forwards because like I said I, I love doing them I would love to bring them back in a way that has less of an impact on my week uh, I thought maybe maybe I'd do midweek streams, but then I don't know. Am I just moving an issue to another day, um, a day where I've been at work all day, uh, rather than having the whole weekend to relax and recharge uh, to end on the high of doing a live stream? But um, so it's something that I'm thinking about, and it's it's not something I want. To, <laughs> there's a part of me that thinks I'll oh, just 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 do it just carry on doing it but i think it's gonna to have too much of a negative impact of on future videos or even my pros my outlook on making the videos because i've always said this is primarily fun for me uh, the minute it starts feeling like a chore like a job not only does that not feel right to me it feels like the wrong reason for making these videos. I always, I've always said, if you want to make your channel, 
uh, go for it, do it. What's the what's the worst that could happen? No one looks at the videos and no one sees you fail. Um, but it's got to that point where, yeah, it's things are getting uh, getting towards becoming a drag. So I need a little bit of a rebalance. But um, <laughs> I'll, I'll cover this more in my live stream uh, for those people that watch the live streams. Um, I think this is more prudent to you guys but uh, so yeah a little bit of a break from the live streams and then bring them back in some sort of fashion that gives me time to recharge to make the videos that I make uh, but anyway that's a that's the longest answer to a um, <laughs> question and uh, not something I planned on talking about but I, there we go that I just sort of rambled shall we move on to an easier question uh, Karen Sorkin says, Congratulations on 40,000 subscribers. You deserve it. I have watched you from the beginning and think you could reach over 10,000. And I, th I thought you could reach over 10,000 easily. My question is, what's the largest vehicle you've driven? Keep up the good work on your information and enjoyable site. Well, thank you very much. Um, the largest vehicle I have ever driven. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing, Im nothing impressive. I've never dri driven a tank or a lorry or... Um, even a truck and an, a, like a, a van uh, it's probably my Ford Focus <laughs> as sad as that sounds um, yeah I, 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 equally I don't have very good spatial awareness uh, so parking I'm a nightmare I will park the other side of a car park if there's an easier space just to have to walk all the way to the supermarket um, so yeah there isn't really anything that exciting that I've driven add it to the bucket list drive big vehicle Harry Hawthorne says, uh, you don't have to do these. <laughs> the giveaways are my way of uh, thanking you guys for the support and the love that you give me uh, throughout throughout the knocking. It's going to be, well, February will be three years I've been doing this. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a token of my appreciation to be able to give a couple of you some nice coins. Um, uh, we are all happy enough with just your cracking content. It's very thoughtful of you and I'd love to win. My question is, how many NIFCs have you found in circulation? Um, five or six or seven, maybe. Um, Friday added a couple more onto that list. So uh, the, the top of my list, though, is an NIFC two pound coin. I would love more than anything to take that off the list of things that I have uh, found in my videos. Ooh, put these aside. 2018. Could this be a G? How good would it be to find a G? We found T, Y, and A. Ooh, that's a nice one to find. Lovely stuff. A, T, and Y. Three. Holy Toledo. This is going exceptional. We don't normally find this many. Um, Sophie Ashton says, keep up the great videos. What is your favorite fruit? Um, fruit I eat most often, probably apples or bananas, but I love kiwis, but they're a faff. And I love pop, pop. Uh, poppadoms, poppadoms, popogram, popogramets, <laughs> pomegranates, um, but they are a mess, they are really are a mess, I know you can buy the loose seeds that someone has picked out of one of the fruits, but it's not the same, they're all like watery and bleh, um, nothing like a fresh pomegranate, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that fussy to be fair with fruit, I, there aren't any fruits I can think of offhand that I dislike, um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Max Davies says, you're one of my favorite YouTubers and you're amazing. Thank you very much, Max. That's very kind of you. Um, Stephen Hollis says, great giveaway, Christopher. You'll be at 50K in no time. What's your favorite UK city? Oh, well, when we hit 50K, I've got an awesome giveaway planned and you're going to love it. So uh, we are, we are ticking over. We're getting there. So um, stay tuned for that. But my favorite UK city, as much as I groan about going to London it is an impressive city isn't it it is um beautiful the, 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 uh, the it's the it's the the height of the buildings that really blows my mind but something when we were in London coins to collect uh we want he was helping guide us around because he knew the way uh, along with total coins um he was saying it's the if you look across a horizon it's the mixture of the old the modern buildings all the stuff that you can see uh, and that, that that was pretty cool as well but um, but maybe Cardiff though, because Cardiff has got so many positive um, connotations in my mind of 
uh, going to going to the Royal Mint with the coin tubers and going out and getting a sh- getting Shake Shack. Oh my goodness, Shake Shack, Shake Shack is amazing. Um, and I think other than London, that's my closest Shake Shack. So <laughs> a bit of a commute for a burger, but man oh man, is it worth it? So yeah, I guess that's kind of a city I really really like as well. Uh, Winchester, that's a city, right? It's got a university and a cathedral. It's got to be a city. Uh, I went to university there. Um, and I've got fond memories of Winchester and it's a beautiful, beautiful city. If it is a city. I think it is a city though. Um but yeah, I have a go. <laughs> I can't think of any more. Um Mason Edmonds says, Hello Christopher, ever since I started watching your videos, I've got crazy collecting coins and ever since I started watching about a year and a half, I've managed to complete my Olympic 50p collection. Oh that's amazing. Well well done to you. Um, managed to complete my 50p collection because of you. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your help through the videos and answering any of my questions. What's your favourite movie of all time, but has to be based on money? Um, ooh. And based on a film based on money. Well, the original Ocean's Eleven with the Rat Pack is a phenomenal film that I still think is a fantastic watch even today and that's made in the 60s um, and that's all about bank, about robbing money from uh, casinos um, I guess the film I've seen recently uh, that's to do with money is uh, the John Paul Getty film John Paul Getty? John Getty? I can't remember what his name is now um, all the money in the world. It was, I think, Ridley Scott, and it had um, Christopher Plummer. It was supposed to be another actor who got the can. Um, it was just an amazing film. It wasn't a scary film, but it was. There was suspense and tension. It had me on the edge of my seat, even though it wasn't a horror film or a, a jump scary film. Uh, but no, that is one of uh, the more recent money-related films that I've seen that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, Bluestone Pro Window Cleaning says, do you need a window cleaner? <laughs> I don't need a window cleaner, but uh, uh, I highly recommend Bluestone Pro, Cle- Pro Clean Window Cleaning, uh, the YouTube channel, as a, a window cleaner, I guess. Um, uh, Dickie T says, will you get a tattoo of your caricature self at 100k? Um, no, <laughs> I won't get any tattoos, full stop. I have absolutely no inclination. Uh, I never have. Uh, I'm not even a massive fan of tattoos themselves. Um, there isn't anything that I would want to tattoo permanently on myself, um, and it's painful, isn't it? I don't want to. Why do I want to? Subject, why do I want to pay to be in pain to have a picture of something that, in time, uh, when I get old and pruney, uh, <laughs> it's going to look horrific. Uh, so uh, no, I won't be getting any tattoos. Uh, we will finish off with one more from Adam Cato, a long time viewer, so thank you. Uh, oh, I keep putting off sending, off sending you a coin, but now I can kill two birds with one stone if I include a postcard. Right, you want a question. What book, film, TV show had the biggest influence on your life? One of each, please. Wow. What books had the biggest influence on my life? That would be the first um, um, Star Wars book I read, uh, Heir to the Empire. Uh, Grand Moff, uh, Grand Moff, Grand Admiral Thrawn as the main villain um the, the reason that's had the biggest impact on my life is because it opened my world to these star wars books and i read hundreds uh, before disney bought it and wiped the slate clean and started again and i still do and it, the, the, the amount of time that I, I must have sunk into reading these star wars books um that's probably the biggest impact on my life in, in terms of a book that i have read it's such a good book as well um even even though it's not canon anymore he, but he's back and the, the original author wrote it and it was very very good uh, film a film I feel like I need to pick something that's not Star Wars but, but it probably is Star Wars um, <laughs> oh dearie dear um, I can't think of anything that's not Star Wars that's had that big of an impact on my life in terms of a film no well, it's, it's Star Wars again <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed TV show um, this won't be Star Wars so the TV shows that have had the biggest influence on my life I don't know that anything's had a particular sort of personal impact on my life but uh, there are certain TV shows that were so good it, it, it just raised the bar 
of what makes a good TV show in my mind. And the first one that I can recall having that much of, much of an impact going, oh my goodness, this is so good, was Breaking Bad. And the first episode was rubbish. Um, the second, ep- but by episode two, I was hooked. And there was maybe one Duff episode in the whole thing in my mind. Um, and it, yeah, it was just so good. It sort of made me, th- it, it's, it's, it's uh, spoiled me for TV shows that aren't as good. That also I think something like House of Cards although we're not allowed to like it because um yeah unmentionables um but again it was such a it was such an amazing tv show that had me hooked throughout um uh, that it was just so good that it's, it's again spoiled me for rubbish tv shows <laughs> um it's obviously worth mentioning as well the 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 it's uh, probably what's have had the biggest impact is seeing these uh, initially american coin hunters um and thinking oh this is good fun and then deciding oh actually this looks like fun i wonder if anyone's doing it in the uk and i said it a bazillion times you had three people doing it at the time you had absolute coins uh you had uk coin hunt and uk coin hunter under different guys at that time but um the three of them were the the original coin hunters uh and i thought oh, let's have a crack at this let's have let's have a go and um here we are <laughs> so honorable mentions to those three people and the i can't remember who i think it was jd's variety channel was the first coin hunting channel i saw and then half dollar make you holler and quinn's coins and the other people i picked up on the way like uh, silver picker and um oh, there's, there's just so many and then um <clears throat> lose my voice a bit there uh yeah watching those three uk coin hunters that made me think this looks like fun let's have a go and yeah now we here we are uh almost three years uh, <laughs> i say almost three years february is still a far away off we've still got halloween and christmas between, and new year's between now and then but um it, it, it'll be february before we know it and so i can say we've been doing this for three years so there we go anyway i, I rambled on uh, even longer than i planned to so uh what we'll do is get back to the coins Well, there we go. Unbelievably, we got four. This never happens. We're lucky to find one. Two is extraordinary. To find four is pretty amazing. Um, unfortunately, all four are ones that we've already got. Uh, the top row, the 2018s. As I said, we're only missing the letter G. Unfortunately, we found T fairly recently. And the letter U, we've already got for 2019. But there we go. That's the way it, it, roll, it rolls sometimes. There's a 1 in 26 chance that one of these will be the letter G. And we'll finish our first book. You never know. That could be next week. But as ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.